Hello children, let's learn today another very interesting uh, multiplication of Vedic Maths. So multiplication part 5, which is multiplication by base method. Yes, with the help of this multiplication by base method, you can multiply big numbers with the help which are close to the base, like which are near to hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and more than that. And the Vedic Sutra is vertically and crosswise. Now, let's see how to apply this multiplication by base method. So, today we are going to discuss multiplication by above base method. Okay. So, multiplication by base method, we have, uh, we can take the numbers below base also. We can take the numbers above the base also. Now, first of all, what do you mean by base? Base means like, if you take 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and more than that, these numbers we can consider as base numbers. If you are taking 100 as a base, the numbers which will be which will be above 100 will be called as above the base, like 102, 104, 110, like that. And the numbers which are below 100, like 98, 99, these are below the base. So today we will discuss the multiplication of numbers which are above base. So first case is when we have multiplication of numbers above the base. So you can see some examples of numbers above the base here are 102, 1025, 115, 1250. So these all numbers are having base as 100 thousand or ten thousand so the two steps only you need to multiply in this case vertically multiply and crosswise addition now how to do this one let's see with one example so first case i'm going to take when you have base as hundred for example if you want to multiply hundred four into hundred three okay so both are having numbers near to 100 the base is 100 here so in this case you can write in the according to the first step you write like this vertically 104 and 103 okay now 104 is what 104 is 100 plus 4 okay so we will write plus 4 this side and what is 103 103 is 100 plus 3. So you write plus 3 beside this 103. And the base here is 100. So this base is very, very important. When you are doing the multiplication, please check what is the base given. So base is 100. Now we will multiply vertically like this. This is the first step. Vertically multiply. Now 4 into 3 is 12. This is the last part of your answer. Okay. So if you have base as 100, the last part should have, last part should have only two digits. Two digits. Now in this case, 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 is having two digits only. So no extra work to do in this case. Now, crosswise addition. Crosswise addition means you put a cross here. Either you add 104 with 3 or you add 103 with 4. Answer will be 107 in both the cases. So, final answer is 10712. So, the answer of 104 into 103 is 10712. So see, it is so simple to do with this Vedic Maths method. So now, no need to do your long and actual calculation. With the help of base method only, you can do the calculations very easily. Okay? So this is called base method and this example was based on base 100. Let's take some other examples based on base 100. Like I told you, base 100 means two digits in the last part. So remember this thing, 
two digits in the last part. Now let's take another example. Suppose you have hundred two into hundred three. Quickly write down as it, like I told you in the previous sum hundred two hundred three. This is plus two. This is plus three. Two into three is six. Now six is having only one digit. So what to do in this case? We should write two digits. So we have only one. So we should put here one zero. So now you can see the last part is having two digit. And now same thing. Hundred two plus three or hundred three plus two. Whatever you do, answer will be. Hundred five. So the answer of this product is one zero five zero six. Okay. And if you get more than two digits, then what to do? Then shift the extra digit to the left side. Like one example, I am going to show you here. Suppose you want to multiply hundred. Uh, let's take hundred five into hundred twenty five. Okay, so hundred five quickly you can write plus five, and one hundred twenty five quickly you can write plus twenty five. Now, when you multiply vertically, twenty five into five is one twenty. Now it's a three digit number. Okay, now what to do in this case? I will tell you. First, you add one twenty five plus five, which is one thirty. Now, because this last part is having one extra digit, so we will shift this extra digit to the left side and add one to this. So, one thirty plus one will be this extra one will be shifted. Okay. So, answer is now one three one two. If you get less number of digits, put zero accordingly. If you get extra digits, you shift the extra one to the Left part of your answer, and that will give you the final answer. Now let's take some uh, examples based on base one thousand. Now base one thousand, uh, we require three digits. According to the base, we will take the number of digits. Three digits in the last part. If you have base one thousand, you should check this point also. Three digits in the last part. Now suppose it is one thousand seven into one thousand eight. Okay, so the basic steps are same: one thousand seven, one thousand eight, plus seven, plus eight. Vertically multiplication: seven times eight is fifty-six. This is the last part, and one thousand seven plus eight is one zero one five. Now base is one thousand, so we require three digits here. So what we will do here? We will put extra zero. So the answer will be one zero one five zero five six. Okay. So in this case, we had base as one thousand, and after multiplication, we got only two digits. So for that, we put one extra zero there. Okay, so whenever you have base thousand, you do the multiplication in the same way. Only one extra step you need to do. You have to check that the last part should have three digits. Okay, let's take now one example of ten thousand as a base. Now suppose you have number like ten thousand nine into ten thousand. Let's take ten thousand this side sixteen ten thousand nine into ten thousand sixteen. Now it's a big number I have taken. So let's write it in that order only ten thousand nine ten thousand. Ah, this is sixteen here. So one zero will be cancelled this side. Okay, so ten thousand nine, and this side is your ten thousand sixteen. So one uh, zero, and this is six. Okay, so ten thousand zero uh, nine and ten thousand sixteen. So it will be one this side. Okay, so 
Now what to do? The same thing. Plus 9. Plus 16. Now multiply. 16 times 9 is 144. But here, what is the base? Base is 10,000. So the last digit, last part. How many digits required? Last part should have four digits. Okay, so what we will do here, 16 into 9 is 144. So it is having three digits. We will put one zero here. Okay, and now add it crosswise. 10,009 plus 16 will be 10025. So the final answer is 10025014. So see such a difficult calculation we did with the help of our Vedic Maths base multiplication method. So this base multiplication above base is very quick and very fast when you need to do long multiplication calculation. Only two steps required here. So practice some questions based on this. In the next class, we will do some questions based on below base method also. So till then, okay, bye.